Here's a do just one thing to help you get out of a hairy situation. If you love animals, but you don't love all the fur that they shed inside your home, I've got a couple of solutions to help you defur. And I think this is something you're very familiar with. If you've got cats or dogs, they leave behind these little clumps of hair. You could actually take the cover off the pillow, wash it, dry it, put it back on, and repeat every other day. But a simpler solution is just to use these gloves. Now, if you wear these gloves when you're washing dishes, what you'll notice, it's like this diamond pattern on the top is really fantastic at gripping onto the loose fur. When they're slightly damp, that's the best time to use them. So I'm just gonna spray my gloves. And you just run it all over the top, and look at this. Forms it into a little ball, and you can see a lot of the fur trapped into that diamond mesh pattern. Another solution to get pet hair out of another area that's usually cluttered with tons and tons of fur, think about rugs. Use this. This is a squeegee. And what this does is that it picks up all of the loose fur, and in just a matter of seconds, you've got a clump of fur that you can toss in the compost bin um, or put in the trash. The next thing you can do is just take a spray bottle and add like one or two drops of dish soap to it. And the soap mixture on top of the fur will help lift it out of the carpet. And so when you run over it with a vacuum, the carpets look as good as new. And here's the final thing. You might have fur all over your clothes. What I like to do is take a paint roller and a little bit of tape and the sticky side up. You just wrap it around and around. and then you roll away. And look at that. All of that stray fur is picked up and is now trapped on my instant little fur picker-upper. Do just one thing.